everyone. Um, today is May 7th. Yes, May 7th. And today I'm going to do a garden tour. I'm going to split this video up into three videos. So it's going to be, or maybe four, three videos. So we're going to do like the side of the house where I have the tea and flower garden. Um, including with that is some things that I'm doing on the side in the deck and also I'm going to be doing the vegetable garden my little one wants to be in the video <laughs> also but anyways let's get started on viewing both of the different gardens that I've been working on May 7th 2021. Bye. And into the garden, I have geraniums planted here. Uh, um, let's see what has been growing so far. So I have two beds here, which are tomato beds okay so in the first bed we're going to view is my tomato bed so here I have six tomatoes I'm growing them very close together because I am going to grow them single stem method I have some heirlooms from Baker Creek so I have um, in this bed I have orange ice Amish paste and then a black beauty I um, everything that I have planted in these beds are from seeds except for a couple of flowers. Here we have a marigold that is starting to bloom. I didn't realize that these marigolds was going to be three feet tall. I didn't even know marigolds were that tall. So that was a mistake. Um, I, I really did want wanted the lower or the smaller marigolds. But yeah, so... I got the three tall ones, so there we go. Um, also, I found um, some small roses or moss roses from the Home Depot. So it's been raining, so it pretty much these will be in bloom probably by next week. As you can see, there's a lot of buds. So all the old flowers fell off during the rain. I have some zinnias that I planted from seed. This right here. Um, I don't think there's really anything in here. Um, actually, I think I planted some chives from seed. They just haven't came up yet. Zinnias, more zinnia. This zinnia right here is getting ready to bloom. Some nestrums and some cilantro that I've been harvesting. I also have some onions in here. So these are Texas onions. And I don't know if I mentioned before, but with my tomatoes, I do have them planted close together. I'm doing the single stem method. So with that being said, I will be growing them up a single stalk and uh, um, pinching off the side shoots. Or not the side shoots, but the, um, I guess you will call it the side shoots, pinching off where the, um, the actual where another main tomato plant can grow which is in the elbow I also have some basil from seed that is sitting back there and I was growing that in my click and grow but it got too big for click and grow so I just potted it up and then just put it out here one thing one thing I am excited for is this morning glory so I got my first flower opening on the morning glory plant And I planted this morning glory from seed also. So I, I can't wait till everything gets starts blooming on the morning glory. To the right of me, I have a grape plant in a container. So this is my grape plant. And I think this is a, I can't remember which one this is. I ordered a purple and a green one. So I have the other one planted over here in a pot. So we will check that out soon. But I have this growing up on an arch 
trellis and look how high it has gotten and I just got this plant last year so it's growing pretty high on the arch trellis I planted some stuff on the other side because I didn't think that the grape plant or the grape yes I didn't think that the grape plant was gonna grow so fast but to my surprise it's growing really fast hopefully there'll be room for both plants but we'll see um i have cucumbers um growing on the other side if it becomes too much then i'll just cut down the cucumbers and move them somewhere else but i am very excited looking at these grape plant i have more tomatoes growing and there go my little girl she just wanted to get into the camera also you might see a lot of her but um Yes, I have, ooh, can I even remember? Oxford Heart, Dr. Witchy, and a either white Thomasil or a great white. All of these were from seed from Baker Creek. Got some more marigolds. I also have some carrots that I put in during February. So, I mean, they've been growing really, really slow. Or maybe I put them in in March. But they've been growing really slow, but they are growing. Um, here go that moss rose that I was telling you guys about. So hopefully we'll see a lot of blooms starting next week because it got a little, a lot of little buds on there. I have more zinnias here and cilantro. Oh, this zinnias, zinnias are getting tall, very tall. And I have morning glory over here. So I just mirrored what was over here to over there. And I have some cow lilies. I try to mix my garden with a lot of flowers so that I can attract pollinators. So that's what I did with the geranium and the cow lilies, uh, the calilies. Um, sorry, I'm just learning a lot of flower names, so sorry if I pronounced them incorrectly, but you guys get the drift. Okay, so here we have um, the raspberry bed. So I have, I think I have at least eight raspberries in here. So the first two are the and yellow, the second two are the double gold, and I need to probably do a little better job at trying to get these um staked up on the wires so the first two is and yellow the second two is double gold and then i have two heritages and then i have three wall royal purple raspberries so very excited got these from stark bros and i got my grapes from stark bros last year 2020 that's when i got those plants and planted them in. I still have some starts here that I'm gonna give away. Okay, so over here I have kale. So gonna be harvesting this soon and I already harvest some and it was really good. So this is the white Russian kale, I believe is the name of it. And then I have a panty here and I think, I don't know if this is gonna go I don't know if this is gonna flower, but I did this from bare root. So I see a little bud, so we'll see if it flowers because they say that it take like three years to flower. So yes, moving on, oh, well, moving on to the wooden beds. So this is the first bed here. I planted some melons waiting for the seeds to come up little seedlings and yes they are coming up yay at first i didn't think these were going to come up but i'm glad to see that they are popping up hopefully the slugs don't eat them because i did have i did transplant some in here versus direct sow and the slugs ate those three watermelon plants um sugar baby watermelons and kajari melons so i just direct sowed after they ate those and i did put down some slug slug repellent so hopefully that will work where they won't eat these seedlings or anything else eat these seedlings. Here I have some um, noodle beans that I am growing, which are going to grow up on the trellis along with the melons. And then moving to the other side, I have some more noodle beans 
and more melons. I have the Minnesota Midget and the Kajari Melon. I have cabbages, and then I have the Japanese Giant Red Mustard, which I do not like raw. Um, usually I can eat stuff raw, but I, I can't. It is very, very, very spicy, but it does taste really good cooked because it does have a garlicky, um, very spicy um, taste, but once you cook it, that spiciness goes away. Something is eating my other panty. I don't know what. I did put down slug repellent, but I don't even think it's that. Maybe it's a caterpillar that's eating this panty. So that word is always so weird to me. That's why I like to pronounce it peony, but it's really pronounced like panty or panty. If anyone can pronounce that for me, please feel free. Okay, so here are my Japanese red mustards, which I will be harvesting very soon. Um, as you can see, it's trying to go to seed with that long, with that one right there. Um, I just pinched off the seeds on that one. So it is, it is time to harvest this. So I'll be harvesting this really soon, probably tomorrow. Um, this is such a beautiful plant. Like, it's so beautiful. I don't even want to cut it because it's, it's just so beautiful in the garden but I know that it can't tolerate hot weather so or too much warm weather so I will be growing this again in the fall and it's a very 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 tasty when it's cooked I just want to show this grapes are coming in I don't think I put this on camera that the grapes are coming in okay so here i have four bins when i first started gardening i started off container gardening so this is what i pretty much started off with and i just kept the bins and i still continue to grow in them um here i just planted a bunch of peppers all different type of peppers i have no idea what type of peppers because i didn't label them so it is what it is but i have some collards that i am going to be harvesting these soon and I do not have them protected from cabbage moth or any other type of little butterflies that like to lay eggs and then eat up all your harvest. So, but it'll be okay because I am going to plant, I am going to harvest this real soon. I also have broccoli. Hopefully I can get some broccoli. I don't know. I had to pull up all of my old broccoli because it did go to seed when we did have some hot days. I have radishes and carrots over there. They don't seem to be doing that great, but we'll see. I'm just going to let it stay and see what happens. I have corn over here. So my second time trying to grow corn and see what happens. And then I have cabbage. Hopefully heads will develop and I can get a good harvest of cabbage before it gets too hot. Last year, I did pretty good on the cabbage. Um, I did harvest it around June, so hopefully this cabbage lasts just as long and continue to grow. So in this bed, I have my squashes, onions, peppers, and then I have zucchini on the other side that I started, that I direct sold everything else I had on grow lights in the house. I have this cucumber plant over here and I have um, some okra, some Alabama red okra, which is over here. And I have some Jenga okra, which is here that I got from Baker Creek. So everything's looking good. Um, I am seeing some insect damage, so I do need to take care of that. But for the most part, everything is looking good. I have an eggplant and yeah. And then I have um, pumpkins over here. And I also did um, some sugar baby watermelon because as I was stating before, the um, slugs ate my melons. So therefore, trying to grow them in pots. And then here we go to sup pot. If my daughter brings down the scraps then I can show you guys the inside of Sup Pod. 
So what I have planted in the sub pot system is artichoke, mar some marigolds. Again, I might have to redo these marigolds because I didn't realize they was the packet that I started from seed. I didn't know that they grew three feet tall. So that's gonna be in the way of opening up sub pot. Over here, I also have some collards and I think I might have a cabbage in here. I'm, I'm, no, all this look like collards. So I will be harvesting the collards really soon before um, any bugs attack. I also have two blueberry bushes in this sub pot bed. So I have the O'Neill blueberry bush and then I have the pink lemonade blueberry bush. This is pumping out a lot of blueberries. This on the other hand, is very far few in between so I'm thinking I might not get any blueberries until really next year it might give me a couple this year but probably won't get many of them until next year here I have um, my blackberry that I have growing in a pot. I have had this blackberry for three years, a rose, and then I'm growing hopsis and bee balm from seed in this little area. So hopefully I see some sprouts, but I don't see the hopsis sprout because I separated them. So hopefully the hopsis will, will sprout and grow also. Cattle kennel fences. Cattle kennel fences are amazing you can do so much with them so i really really love them but here's my other grape um my grapevine here and i did leave the tag on this one so this grape here let me see if i can get it but you guys know what kind of grape this is the other one i can't remember off the top of my head but this one is a summer somerset seedless grape so i think this is a green grape and the other one is a red grape um as far as growth, it is doing good. As you can see, it is setting some grapes. Don't wanna touch, cause I wanna be so gentle. I don't wanna mess anything up, but it is growing some grapes. And this is gonna grow and cascade over this arch trellis. Also coming into the garden from this direction, I have another on this side here i have two tomatoes i have two cherry tomatoes i have berry cherry crazy and purple bumble i don't know which is which i do have an aunt molly cherry into this whiskey whiskey barrel and i have some pepper plants i'll probably over plant it but we'll see how everything goes um hopefully everything goes good but i think i probably over plant it especially with the aunt molly cherry and it's my first time planting Aunt Molly cherry, but I think that plant gets kind of big. Don't know for sure. But these two tomatoes here are gonna use this trellis um, for support. That's how I have that plant. <laughs> okay, so I have two muscadines. So I have two grapes, two muscadines. This is a green muscadine. This is the fried muscadine here. And then how I'm gonna train this is for this to grow up because I don't have the recommended um, space for it. So I'm just gonna grow this up and then try to grow this one down here on the bottom of the trellis. So hopefully that will work out. This right here is a coward muscadine grape. So this has been, and I moved these grapes because last year, I this, this is their second year last year, I planted them in the ground, didn't like where I planted them, so I did move them, and they came back, and they're doing really good, really good, so I'm very happy about that. Um, so yeah, well, just on this tour with me, and thank you guys for coming on this journey with me. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. I'm going to continue to do um, tours of my garden, probably weekly or maybe bi-weekly, I'm not for sure yet. But thank you guys for um, staying with me and looking at this tour. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.